Welcome back. So Prusa just announced input shaping for the MK4. This is a 5.0.0 firmware alpha, so it is still very much in the testing phase. There's a lot of information in this article about the input shaping as well as other things that were released. They also released G codes that are already pre-sliced. So I, after reading through all this, scrolled to the bottom and got the MK4 firmware downloading. I have to reflash the MK4 with this firmware. After it's on the USB, I plug this in and then turn the power off and then on again and then you hold down the knob to get it to flash the firmware. The window pops up and asks you if you do want to go ahead and reflash it, and I click OK. The flashing and resetting take about a minute to do, not very long. Then there is a warning because this is an alpha that you do need to be careful, monitor the printer, that sort of thing. I go back and download the bonkers Benchy so that we can see how the pre-sliced G-code will work. I save this onto a USB and go ahead and load it into the MK4. And get this and the timer started. I did want to go ahead and start the timer right when I click OK because I want to see how long it's going to take to start the print. And even though it's saying that it's a 12 minute bench sheet, how long is it really going to take from start to finish? I'm going to go ahead and let this entire print play out since it is a short print so that you can see, you can hear all of the different parts to it and really just get an idea of the overall printing with this. I did start this print a little bit different on all on one surface. The timer was also on the same table and when it started printing, it was shaking so bad that my phone, my timer fell over. So I readjusted that, put it on a different surface. So we'll see if it still is bouncy, but that does make me realize this is a very fast speed. Because I just downloaded the G code, I don't have a lot of details of exactly what is being printed. So we'll get to see that at the end, how it turned out. If you're not interested in listening through the entire print, if you skip forward to about 16 and a half minutes and it should be wrapping up. It looks like it takes about two and a half minutes before it even starts printing. So I really want to see how that compares to the 12 minute Benchy. Does it end up being more than that or was the 12 minutes already included?
Okay, and right about there, the print is wrapping up. So when we factor in that the print took about two and a half minutes to start, and we're a little bit over 15 minutes um, until it's completely done, it is still a 12 minute benchy. I'm gonna say 12 and three quarter minute benchy, but um, it is very fast. Okay, let's see how it turned out. I notice as soon as I take it off the print bed that it is very lightweight. I do think that I read somewhere that this is a single layer wall, and that does seem to be the case because it is so lightweight, it kind of is echoey, a little bit hollow. I'm gonna to switch to a different camera view here and you can get a little bit more details on everything as I turn it around. It looks very good. Um, I do I do feel like the print overall is good. I don't know that I'm going to want to print something with a single wall just because I feel like if I crushed it, I probably would break it. It just seems a little too delicate for me, but um, I feel like the detail is really nice. So I want to compare this one to the Benchy that I did on my Benchy race between all of the different um, machines. So I go and grab that one. I did purposely print both of these in orange filament, the same filament, so that we can compare them as much as possible. I do feel like the regular printed Benchy almost seems a little bit shinier on the right, and I feel like the layer lines are a little bit more pronounced on the one on the right as well. They definitely feel different. You really notice that the bridging on the new Bonkers Benji is not as good, especially in those doorways. It does seem like it sags a little bit. Here's some stills of them side by side comparison, a little bit higher quality so you can compare. But overall, I think it is a good print. I think I do want to continue working with it and see what else we can come up with. Let me know if you're going to try this new input shaping and your overall thoughts. Thanks for watching.